is hereby called to order. Can you please stand and join me in saying the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The Secretary, please call the roll. President Andrews. Present. Vice President Mason. Director Lassane. Present. Director Mitchell. Director Mitchell. Present. Director Nankar. Thank you. Welcome. Moving on to section 4.0, our first item of business is the adoption of the agenda. Dr. Cohn, will you please introduce this afternoon's agenda? Yes, I'd be happy to. So consistent with the plans uh, established at your last summer planning workshop, tonight's agenda contains or contained a variety of elements related to your strategic plan and your goals. <clears throat> Due to the significant snow and ice events tonight, uh, what we're planning to do uh, is ask you to amend the agenda to remove the... Um, the recognition item, which we'll schedule for another night. Um, and then after you've approved the consent agenda, um, I'm, I'm going to ask that uh, one of you offer a motion to adjourn the meeting. Uh, and all the items that are on the agenda that were planned for this evening can be moved to subsequent meetings. That way we can cle uh, clear out the, the staff and get you all home before the sun sets and, and the, um, uh, the, the icy roads, whatever the sun's melted. Uh, you know, uh, glazes over. So in the interest of safety, tonight's meeting, uh, we ask uh, uh, that uh, uh, you allow us to help you make it very short. So <clears throat> what I would recommend is that you um, uh, ask for a motion to approve um, with item five um, uh, deleted uh, for this evening. Is there a motion to approve? Adopt the agenda with item five deleted. So moved. So moved. Second. Or second. <laughs> <laughs> it's been moved by. You pick. <laughs> and second. <laughs> Director Mitchell and seconded by Director Lassane to approve the agenda as revised, amended. All those in favor? Oh. Um, is, there any dis is there any discussion? Hearing none, I'll call for the vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 Tracy? Aye. Those opposed say no. Motion carries. Okay, we will skip over item five and go to Section six, public comments. There are no requests for public comment this evening. Thank you, Dr. Cohn. Move on, on to section seven, consent agenda. Um, Dr. Cohn, will you please provide us an introduction to the consent agenda? Yes, the board's consent agenda includes repetitive business items. Example of the, examples of this type of item include uh, meeting minutes, personal actions, expense vouchers, uh, surplus lists, gifts and grants, and recurring contracts. Sometimes the consent agenda will include items that occur less frequently, but are of a routine business nature. The less frequently occurring consent agenda items are usually reviewed by the board in its Friday report one or more weeks before the board meeting when those items are scheduled to appear on the consent agenda. This gives directors time to ask staff questions about those items or to consider a discussion about the policy implication of uh, those items. If a consent agenda item is removed by the concurrence of two directors, that item is placed in new business and the remaining items are automatically renumbered by our system. The board votes on the consent agenda in a single motion. By its definition, a consent agenda is not debatable. Uh, in the case of this consent agenda, the superintendent's office received uh, inquiries from one director. Uh, the questions were uh, regarding a $559,000 purchase to <clears throat> from microcomputer systems and what the $60,000 payment to Perkins Coie related to and what the $7,000 payment in uh, the general fund was to Beresford. Uh, the answers were that the uh, $559,000 purchase to microsystems is, was for 1,300 classroom printers and accessories that were purchased off the state contract. The $60,000 payment to Perkins Coie is primarily for the Gateway Middle School 
roof uh, litigation as a result of the failure of that roof and the and the replacement of it. The general fund payment to the Beresford companies for carpet rubber base and installation at Everett High School. In um, the the consent agenda, uh, we received no other inquiries uh, regarding the consent agenda. It uh, is as it was published uh, to you originally, and we ask your approval thereof. Is there a motion to approve the consent consent agenda as presented? So moved. Is there a second? Second. It's been moved by Director Lassane and seconded seconded by Director Mitchell to approve the consent agenda. Does any director wish to remove an item from the consent agenda and place it in the new business section of the agenda? Hearing not, no requests, we will proceed to the vote. All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed say aye. aye. Those opposed, no. Consent agenda is approved. So at this point in uh, your agenda, um, a, uh, a movement or a motion, I should say, to, ad to adjourn the meeting is always a privileged motion and may occur at any time. Therefore, if you'd like to conclude the meeting and um, go home <laughs> before it drops down to 16 degrees, uh, now would be the time to do that. Madam President, I would like to make a motion that we uh, adjourn the mo meeting at this point in time. Any items that are on were on the agenda to move them to another future date. Is there a second? Second. Any discussion? All those in favor of adjourning the meeting and moving subsequent items to a future meeting, say aye. 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 Those opposed? Aye. Those opposed, say no. Motion carries. Meeting is adjourned. <laughs>